I'm going to start texturing this in Substance Painter. Uh, just before I do that, I want to mention a couple of things that I've done. Um, first of all, I created just a cylinder here that I'm going to use for a laser. And when I uh, UV unwrap this and got it ready for Substance Painter, I hid that. All right, I didn't need that showing. Also, the uh, monitor screen here, I hid that and I hit these buttons and I think everything else is going into Substance Painter but I also when I did this I turned off uh, the mirror modifier and didn't didn't have that on because I'll just mirror that across so anything that's mirrored um, and uh, these things here just a, a, another little mesh that I put there for uh, some lights or cameras or whatever uh, I'm gonna do that in blender as well so you know I, I hit that and like I say turn off the mirror um, in this version of blender I'm finding that if I leave on subdivision surface and you know not have it applied my sometimes my UVs go haywire so when I did the UV unwrap I turned off the subdivision surfaces for either everything or most things and then it worked okay so uh, I'm ready to go. I've already exported an FBX and I'm going to go ahead and bring that into Substance Painter. But fine, the one final thing I wanted to show you is I created some uh, dummy material. So sci fi pistol body is on many of these things. And I'm going to do a pretty simple material. Um, I've got that, um, but and I've got sci fi pistol grip. So if you just look at my materials, you can see I've got buttons. You know, that's going to be for the buttons back here eventually. I've got uh, a monitor that's gonna be for there. Um, and I've got uh, the laser. Uh, so I've got, I've got my materials all set up, but um, for actual substance painter, I'll show you, I'm gonna bring in the FBX. So here's the FBX, so I'm gonna open that. All right, so as you can see, the mirror is turned off there, and some of those meshes are, are hidden. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to bake the mesh maps. One other thing I should say that I did is I cut holes in here. I found that uh, UV unwrapping, this was a real pain. It wasn't always working. And by the way, what I did is I selected all these parts and I did a smart UV project, and it seems to be working okay because to, to UV unwrap it by hand, even though it's not a very complicated object, this, with all these booleans, uh, it, it becomes a hassle. And so uh, that's how I did it, and let's check it out. Here are my main materials. I've got this, the body and the grip. So I'm gonna come over here to uh, Bake Mesh Maps. I'm gonna choose 2K, uh, use low poly as high poly, and uncheck that and bake. So here's my baked model, and I'm just looking at it to see if I see any obvious problems, and I, I don't really see any right now, so hopefully we can go ahead and do something. that That's looking bad right there at the top, but it might not be uh, a problem once I apply material. So let's give this a try. Let's work on the body here. I'm gonna delete the default layer, come to Smart Materials, and you know, I, I'm probably gonna use this one. It's called Hard Grainy plastic and yeah that and that looks okay to me um, and that's actually the, what I want to use uh, for all of that on the other hand if I wanted to try and do something different uh, you know you can do some really cool things uh, I'd have to tweak that but yeah, I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to use this hard grainy plastic uh, as it is, and that's and I'm I'm fine with that. So I've got that, and uh, let's come over to the grip, get rid of that, and let's just go to materials, and I've got one. What is it called? Uh, plastic. Plastic. This one, plastic grid. Throw that in there. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to switch that to maybe scale to about four. 
and I'm just gonna change the color uh, I think to something like something like that and that's what I'm thinking about for my gun well, I might experiment with colors later okay now I'm gonna switch over to orthographic so I can look straight on and I'm gonna come back to the pistol body and the layers and on top I just want to put a few details I've hidden or deleted the bolts and I figured oh, let's just do the substance paint or something I'm gonna click the paint I'm just gonna use it like that and I'm going to just have height so I'm gonna alt click height and I'm gonna pull this down a little bit and in alphas you can use you know real bolt alphas I, I just wanted to do it uh, simply with stuff that we got here I'm gonna choose this one make it a little bit smaller I'm going to turn on symmetry and it's going to be in the Z so it goes on to both sides okay because it is a symmetrical model and I'm just going to click make it a bit smaller so I put both there and there all right and that should go on the other side as well yeah and down here I want to put some text right here, but I'll put another one there, another one there. I'll put another bolt there. I'll put a bolt up here. I'll make it a little bit smaller. Put one, put one maybe over here. You can do whatever the heck you want. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay, and then also I am going to have a um, symbol. Um, I think maybe I'll do something like this um, down here. <laughs> we could try that. here okay maybe we'll do something like that and unless I'm missing anything that's all I was gonna do in substance painter now I'm gonna export these textures I'll save this first all right I'm just exporting with a PBR metallic roughness the pistol body and the pistol grip export okay so there they are all right let's go back into blender now I also have some lights in here lights in a camera uh, they may not be final but I've got that set up so now we can uh, come back I'm just gonna unhide everything and let's go ahead and select that and go over to shading all right so there's a default principle BSDF um, with the node wrangler enabled I can shift control T find my materials this is uh, the body so I'll click there shift click down to roughness and that puts it on everything now we have an issue with the normals all right the normals have come in wrong so I'm going to deal with that in a bit first of all let's go to the handle or the grip there's that and of course these things have to be textured uh, separately as well so let's come back here and just choose something with that and this is what I need to look at let's just drag that out and drag these out so essentially what I want to do pull that up there is I need to flip the green channel in order to get these to look right so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna do um, I guess it's under convert anyhow isn't it I'm gonna do a separate RGB I'm just gonna put it right there and I'm gonna do a combine RGB right there and I need an invert node Okay. 
Okay, red is going to go to red. Blue is going to go to blue. Oops, let's not join those yet. Well, let's not join it there. But green is going to go in here and be inverted like that. And now I can take this, plug it in there. And I can take this one, plug it in there. And now my normals are, are flipped. I don't know how good those bolts look, but they're, they're, they were done quickly. Let's have a look in layout. And I'll turn on some, some lights and stuff and just pan around. Okay, so my normals look okay now for that. All right. I'm going to uh, turn that off and just come here. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is I want to put some text on here and I specifically chose a material that's not too weathered and dirty so that I could just bring in uh, decals or text and just put it on and not have to sort of grunge up those those decals. I can do that in another video and uh, I'm sure I will, but just for now, uh, I'm going to place something right there. All right, um, I'm going to bring in some images as planes. Shift A, image image is plain and I created these in uh, just a graphics program uh, and since it's just a PNG it's a white text with a black background I'm going to import that there you can see it and I'm going to find a position that I want this but I can actually cut this so I'm gonna control R control B and pull till I get outside and I can in face selection delete this extra stuff so when I shrink wrap it it's a little bit easier so I'm just gonna pull above and pull below and face selection delete those faces so I've got just a, this is a little bit smaller okay so let's just pull it out a little bit and then come over to the modifiers shrink wrap this is my target. I'm going to choose that. And that might be just, I'm going to bring it out just a little bit. So 0 0.001. Let's try that. And I have some text on there. Okay. Uh, so that's good. I have another text to come on down here. So I'm just going to click down there. And images, planes. And where is it? This one that says charge port. So once again, I'm going to scale it down a bit and I'm going to just clean it up. There. And there. And delete these faces. Okay. And now I'm just going to rotate this and position it where I would want to. Okay, let's take that and shrink wrap this to the body. And somewhere, somewhere in there. See how she's looking with the lights. So we've got an HDR in the background. Let's look through a camera which I brought in just uh, and do a quick. Uh, let's do a quick render just to see what it looks looks like. This is going to be an Eevee. Yeah, there we go. And the text all over. Uh, I was thinking of putting some text right there, uh, but that's what it's looking like so far before we do any other stuff. Now maybe what I could do is take that. Let's come back here and make sure. Yeah, we've, I've, got, I've turned on ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space reflections and refraction. So I could probably go ahead, let's see. I'm on pistol laser. Let's just turn that to an emission and let's make it sort of like a red color. Let's try 10. Okay, we're starting to see something coming out of there. And what I would probably do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a render. 
that might be too much. Um, it's debatable in, in... All right, I've already done something in the compositor. Here, I'll get rid of this stuff. And we'll, uh, we'll look at this. Okay. Okay. So I would normally have that. So let's put an output viewer node in there and connect that up and uh, cut through. That was a shift and right mouse button. G to move that out of the way. And so that, that would be normally what it would look like. So I'll just uh, add a glare node and I'll change this to fog glow and high. And so when I, when I render this, press F12, it'll render it and then it'll do that. And then, then that comes on. And, you know, I'm not saying that's the final color or whatever, but maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Um, I guess I am going to do a little bit more. Uh, let's take this. This is sci-fi emission. So let's just call, put that as emission. Put it as like a green color. Let's make it like five or something. And uh, let's just look through the camera. And tr we'll try another render. Okay, so far so good. Uh, screen would need a little bit of work and, uh, and the buttons uh, as well. So I'm gonna leave that for now and then you know think about if I like those colors and if I wanna put more text on it. But that is what, how she's looking so far. Let's do one more render just to have a look from, from there. Okay, so obviously I've I've shut off my um, my background here under film. Okay, under film I chose transparent. If I didn't and I rendered, I would get the HDR in the background, which might be cool as well. Okay, so I'll leave it at that for now, and uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll finish this up.